Ladies and gentlemen, we have a microphone. <laughs> Easy to please people hearing. <laughs> so, so it's been, you know, a very, very interesting week for me. I will tell you I've gotten to present to a number of the groups around ISSA. And as you would imagine, you know, many of these talks would involve, you know, similar topics, similar topics. And so in that sense, it feels a little bit like I'm going from stump speech to stump speech. And for just a little minute, that made me feel like the president of the United States. Read what they tell you to read and you get your ice cream. <laughs> I was worried it was a little too early for that joke. <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody for coming this year. This year. Ladies and gentlemen, this event almost didn't happen. And, and I'm so excited that it didn't. I've gotten a ton of great feedback about it. And when it's all said and done, I sure hope people felt that it was worth it to make this journey. Uh, I want to thank especially the ISSA and Informa teams uh, for putting together yet another exciting event. It's been fun and fruitful to work with Informa. Go ahead, there you are. Uh, and they share our values, they've embraced our mission, and our growing portfolio of international shows stands in evidence of our mutual aspiration. So I also want to begin with a simple thanks to you, the people of our industry. You know, over the last 19 months, our members were required to redefine this remarkable industry and helping customers lead their way back safely to doing business, working, and playing. Um, I think you can agree that our work has never mattered more, and I'd like to suggest five themes in support of that notion. Theme number one, growth is good. ISSA is still growing and 2021 has been another amazing year. Folks, learning, folks learned during the pandemic that ISSA is a source of truth and people came to us in droves. This was the year we crossed over 10,000 members globally in 105 countries and we also welcomed our 22nd and 23rd organization under the ISSA umbrella. And I'm proud to say that ISSA is still recognized as a reliable partner and that our brand still has cachet as we look to spread our influ influence. Theme number two, GBAC matters. GBAC, our Global Biorisk Advisory Council, or GBAC, uh, Division One Global, and our, the job of GBAC is to help organizations deal with bio-risk and biohazards, and more importantly, how to protect against them. We now count over 4,000 organizations in 80 countries that have pursued accreditation, and it's a who's who of convention centers, hotels, airports, museums, you name it. There are even 12 cities in America that are GBAC destinations that require all of their key facilities to be GBAC star. And in the process, we trained tens of thousands of frontline workers, their supervisors, and executives. What's even more interesting now is that GBAC is not only certifying individuals and buildings, we're certifying products, we're certifying programs. So there really is something for everyone inside of the GBAC value proposition. And look, you know, all of this has been memorialized in our many, many announcements, um, but it's literally been picked up in, t in the news media with literally thousands and thousands of pieces of earned media. So you see GBAC on TV, you hear GBAC on the radio, and of course you see GBAC in print. GBAC is blinking across your screen when you see GBAC digitally, and it's serving to transform what it, what it means to be part of ISSA. Theme number three, 
We're getting louder, or at least a little bit easier to hear in Washington. Uh, I reported last year that this board invested real money in an expanded government relations function, and I would say to great effect. And while there is still much work to do, you'll be able to see our fingerprints across relief legislation that's been passed and that will be passed. So cross your fingers and close your eyes. We still have a 50% tax credit for cleaning related products and services. So hopefully it passes. Theme number four, we have your back. And you know, for those of you keeping score, uh, we always try to make a little extra noise at this convention. And I would say that this year's is extra, extra. Uh, we all know that the CDC and the EPA created a lot of confusion in the marketplace with some of their guidance. And as a result of that, some sectors have actually de-emphasized cleaning. It's, it's mind-blowing. So learning that, I'm pleased to announce that your ISSA Board of Directors recently approved a $5 million, I'm going to repeat that, $5 million investment in a multi-channel media campaign designed to make cleaning viral. Our goal is to create a campaign to raise the awareness of cleaning and disinfection, and in doing so, drive demand for your products and services. And while it's a really good business imperative, I think a really good one, um, it's also the right thing to do to protect human health. Uh, we've begun the essential research to define our target audience, uh, build our metrics, and flush out our strategy. And assuming we're comfortable with our plan, you'll begin to see the campaign in the first and second quarter of next year as people go to work. So I think that's worth a round of applause. Uh, the agency we hired is responsible for the Got Milk campaign. So you can have a sense for where we're trying to go with this thing. All right, theme number five. There goes the neighborhood. I don't know if you heard, but we moved. And ISSA has a new headquarters right by O'Hare Airport. Uh, it's a fantastic place, and we want you to use it. We've got a theater that seats 140 people, excellent conference space, and it's surrounded by great hotels and restaurants. And the best part about it is that you don't even need to rent a car to come and see us. You jump on the rental car, center, on the rental car shuttle, you go to the rental car center and you walk across the street to visit ISSA. <laughs> cool, huh? Um, as always, I want to give special thanks to our president, Steve Lewis, and the board of directors for their courage and creativity. Uh, this group, in the tradition of our board, embraced a number of critical initiatives and, as you just heard, invested real money. So, on behalf of the entire ISSA staff, we can't thank you enough for your unflinching support. So, our first order of business is hearing from none other than Mark Bevington, Chairman of ISSA Charities. I'm going, to I'm going to ask you for a few minutes of your time this morning for a review of the year that was had by ISSA Charities. And as is typical of ISSA Charities, it was a year filled with power and magic. The power and magic that derives from an organization devoted to doing good in the world. ISSA Charities is composed of three signature charities. The first and oldest is ISSA Scholars, which changes people's lives by awarding college scholarships. The second is Hygiea Network, which changes people's lives, especially women in the cleaning industry, by fostering diversity, equity, and inclusiveness. And the third and newest is Cleaning for a Reason, 
which provides support and hope to people whose lives have been changed by a cancer diagnosis. All three signature charities are focused on making an impact in our communities and within the cleaning industry. In short, they are focused on doing good in the world. A big thank you to all of you who have contributed to, contributed to and supported the power and magic of ISSA charities. We've made some great strides this year with engagement and momentum, including increasing our awareness and funding. We are committed to continuing to build our fundraising and program capacity among those we serve. Taking each signature charity one at a time now, beginning with ISSA Scholars. I, through its entire history, ISSA Scholars has given out four million in scholarships to 1,460 individuals. In 2021, we gifted 111,250 to 35 wonderful and deserving individuals. Online applications will be open to, for the 2022 scholarships on our webpage in January and will be awarded in July of 2022. Um, Jakarta Robinson, one of the 2021 scholarship winners, is quoted, this scholarship means a lot. It's a motivator to study hard knowing people are willing to invest in my success. On to Hygieia Network, the ISSA Hygiene Network provides education, mentoring, networking, and support programs to help women succeed and advance in the workplace. Hygiene Network includes over 45 volunteers that span across a council, executive advisory board, and six committees. This team has provided outstanding leadership, really, really incredible leadership. In 2021, Hygiea increased its conference attendance by 118% over last year with 56, 566 people attending three virtual conferences comprised of industry leaders, inspiring presentations, panel discussions, and networking opportunities. Also, Hygieia increased its webinar presence by 300% over the last year with over 1,200 participants attending webinars presented by industry leaders. The Hygieia Mentoring Program continues to connect industry professionals in one-to-one -one mentoring relationships to help women develop and grow. This unique program has expanded its reach to include an exclusive mentoring program designed for Hygieia's sponsor companies to connect their mid-level and senior leadership with other employees in their company. Speaking of sponsor companies, Hygieia Network has developed sponsorships from 62 companies and individuals totaling over $440,000, and we thank them for their support. The Hygieia Network Awards reception took place on Tuesday night, and we hope many of you were able to attend. This event featured networking with industry leaders as well as Hygieia's annual recognition awards, which includes Rising Star Member of the Year and Company of the Year. 20 sponsors helped to support our annual event. Thank you for that. And now on to Clean for a Reason. Cleaning for a Reason never paused their program during the COVID-19 crisis. A clean home is a safe, healthy home, and this is especially true for immune-compromised cancer patients during a pandemic. Many of the nonprofits partners adapted their cleaning standards after completing certification for GBAC's cleaning and disinfection principles. Cleaning for a Reason was able to offer services in a time like no other, confident of the need being met for cancer patients at a time when they really needed it. Another challenge faced by Cleaning for a Reason was a decline in giving during COVID-19. With the support, however, of founder Debbie Sardone, a challenge to raise $100,000 over one year was presented to over 300 cleaning partners during a seminar in April of 2021. 154 cleaning partners rose to the challenge. As of November, these partners have already raised over $60,000. Cleaning for a Reason also rolled out $5 for a Reason, a program where patients invite clients to add $5 to each of their paid cleanings in support of clean homes for cancer patients. For 2021, Cleaning for a Reason maintained 1,200 cleaning partners and is projected to uh, serve over 3,500 cancer patients. This nonprofit also increased their patient navigator base by 32% for the referral of patients in the upcoming year. And now to close out the year, what's coming next um, after a very busy year? ISSA Charities is participating in Giving Tuesday, a national day of giving that is on November 30th this year. We will be asking for support for our three signature charities through Facebook, LinkedIn, email, and hope you will spread the word. We also encourage you to make a personal donation, which will be doubled by corporate matching gifts. And in December, we will focus our annual end of year giving campaign, a chance to give back before the end of the calendar year. Our newest one third, one third, one third, give a dollar initiative will enable manufacturers, distributors, and contractors to ask their clients to give a dollar 
on their invoices to support ISSA charities. One third of every dollar goes to Hygieia, one third of it will go to Cleaning for a Reason, and one third will go right back to the sponsoring firm in the form of college scholarships for their own employees. What an idea. When I heard about this, I liked it so much that I am planning to do it in my own company. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm talking to you, Roman. <laughs> and I strongly encourage everyone in this room to pursue this themselves in their own businesses to support ISSA charities. See any ISSA staff member to get started. Thank you for your time and attention. Most of all, thank you for your wonderful, wonderful support for the power and magic of ISSA charities. And now. <laughs> And now I'd like to introduce Jim Corr, who will present the Next Gen Rising Star Award in honor of Jimmy Corr. So you give me a handheld mic, it should sing, not talk, but I think I can pull it off. So I'm Jim Corr, I'm with um, HD Supply, Home Depot Pro, and I do not have an identity crisis, okay? I am with both Pro and HD Supply, and we will soon be HD Supply, and you'll know us as that. Um, my wife is here with me, Laura. We love to come together to present this award. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to our family. But first, I want to congratulate all of you on the show. And I want to say it loud. The people that didn't come missed out. And I'm going to tell them all that they missed out because this was a fantastic show of engagement for us and we did a lot of great work. So I wanna thank you for having it. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to, and it was great for us, and we are a supporter of the ISSA and will continue to be a supporter in the future. Um, Jimmy, um, Jimmy is, a, is a special person to us. Passed away in a tragic accident. His light shined bright, and it burned fast. He had a special connection with people he was one of the few people I know that really had no bias. He presented kindness and gifts without expectation. And he was a relentless worker in this industry and very loyal to his company. So three things happened when this accident occurred. Um, and it's hard to believe that somebody can have perpetual impact at such a young age. It was just a week before his 25th birthday. But the first thing we did was create the Jimmy Core Foundation. And some of you don't know this, but the charities organization here gave us money to help seed our organization. Since that time in the last five years, we've raised over half a million dollars. We've been, done over 10 tangible projects. And in the last two years, we've built four laundry facilities so that homeless people can wash their clothes because guys, that's just a nice thing to have that we take for granted is clean clothes. The foundation also reminds us to be kind, and you'll see people wearing these pins or these bands, and they say, be like Jimmy, and it says, hey, you know what? The world <laughs> needs to be a little kinder place, and sometimes it reminds me to be a little softer and gentler, and I hope it does you as you learn more about the program. It also provides a scholarship at his high school. So he's just not that far out of high school, you know, just out of college, in the industry a couple of years working for MISCO, and, um, and he was the president of the student body, an all-state athlete, a scholar, and it provides a scholarship every year for the best scholar athlete in his high school. Also, our family backed this, and it was just a fantastic for us to do that. And then the third thing happened, and that's this award. And I want you to know that Laura and Chelsea, my daughter, and I had nothing to do with this award, not one single thing. These were people that got to work with Jimmy in a very short period of time, icons in the industry, like Warren and Ed from MISCO. Um, um, Ken Bodie was a big supporter. Warren Williams helped. And uh, Matt Benakin, a longtime friend in the industry, helped us keep it going when he was on the board. And uh, it, it's just a testament to us of how special he was, not just to us, but to you as well. I know that young leaders are the future of this business. I looked around the show floor today, or yesterday, and it looks much different than it did 15 years ago. So 15 years ago, it looked exactly like me. And thank goodness it doesn't today. These young leaders will lead us into the future. They will change the way we do business and they will give back to the world like we never did before. So I am humbled and proud to present this award this year. So for those of you that don't know, there were nominations that came in from around the ISSA. And this year's winner built a high performing team, 
um, to, to promote safer and greener hygiene. Besides high performance, she leads with compassion and exhibits the values of respect that we admire. She leads your company's trade shows and events and promotions, and she actively promotes equity in our own Hygieia, which is really nice to know that we have a winner that's active in, in our organization and charities here. So this year, winner of the Jimmy Core Next Gen Award is from Cascades. It's Valerie Gagne Sear, and I'd like for her to come up and get her award, and we're proud of you, Valerie. I'm usually a very shy person, but I prepared something for this, so. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for this great honor. I've had the pleasure to be part of this industry for a little more than five years now, and I feel so privileged. At Cascades, I get to create campaigns that promote sustainability, which, has the, which is at the core of who we are and what we do, but also uh, hygiene campaigns that help people feel safer when they go out in public spaces. This industry makes a difference. We make a difference every single day. And we should be, feel proud because while healthcare is doing an amazing job on the healing side, we are doing our part on the prevention side. I have seen so much caring, dedication, and positive energy in the past few days. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us because the measures that we are creating today will be the hygiene standards for future generations. If that doesn't motivate you to get up in the morning, I don't know what will. So thank you again for this award. Thank you to my team who are as passionate uh, as me in creating a greener, cleaner, and safer place for all. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Amir. <laughs> That's all right. Tell them your name. Absolutely. <laughs> Bonjour, good morning, and congratulations to Valérie for this award. Uh, proud to see a Quebecer winning this award. So very proud. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's my first. I should introduce myself. Amir Karim. I'm a board member at ISSA from uh, Polycar in Montreal, Canada. It is my honor to introduce you the 2021 recipient of the Jack D. Ramelay Industry Distinguished Service Award. This award honors individuals who have demonstrated outstanding service to the cleaning industry through their leadership, professionalism, innovation, elevation of industry standards, promotion of the association's growth and development, and of course, the emulation of the ISSA's Code of Ethics. The 2021 recipient is Pierre Goudreau, president of the Sunny Mark Woodwind Group in Canada. Headquartered in Victoriaville, Quebec, the Sunny Mark Group manufactures and distributes cleaning and sanitizing products for the food and beverage, commercial and industrial, and pool and spa markets. The company employs nearly 800 men and women in over 17 branches from coast to coast. A second generation entrepreneur, Pierre has had a passion for innovation and growth and has been able to surround himself with a talented management team. Pierre could not be with us this morning, so ISSA sent him the award 
but representing Sammy Mark Woodwind this morning on this special occasion for the company are Serge Leroux, General Manager of Woodwind, and Mathieu Filto, Purchasing Director. Welcome. <laughs> it's also worthy, worthy of mention that Jeffrey Wood, founder of the uh, original Woodwind company, received this award back in 1980. I will now ask John Beers of Wind Associates, where are you John? Yep. To walk up to the podium to announce the next award. Thank you and congratulations John. Good morning. Recipient of this award, well, perhaps I should tell you what the award is. Uh, I'm, I'm here to present uh, the Manufacturer's Reps Distinguished Service Award. I thought Amir was going to say that. So, <laughs> The recipient of this award is someone who consistently supports our industry uh, and our association and who also has been a solid and steadfast supporter of the rep community. Born and raised in Toledo, Ohio, he was able to survive the nuns, rulers, and ear pulling and graduated from St. John's Jesuit High School and then on to graduate from the University of Toledo. This is interesting. His first job after college was as a FBI fingerprint analyst. After a couple of years he decided he had a burning desire to do something much more exciting <laughs> so he joined the sanitary supply industry. <laughs> Not sure how that happened. <laughs> in 1992, he landed a job and a career with a great company, the Tulco Corporation. He has consistently been an advocate of our association, especially the ISSA trade show. In distributor meetings, he is always talking positively about his experiences at the trade show. Did it this morning about today's or this year's trade show, um, and he's always pushing the importance of uh, attending the show. He's very proud that this year marks his 29th uh, straight year of attending the trade show. Uh, he has um, also been a very strong supporter of the rep community. He knows that together we make a strong team and he thoroughly understands what we do and how we do it. He brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to every meeting. He's extremely personable and make, um, with his customers and his follow-up is impeccable. Apparently the nuns had a lasting impression on him. His support and understanding of the rep community probably comes from the fact that his dad was a rep in the sporting good industry. And this is probably also the reason that he has more useless facts, some people say important sporting facts in his head than anybody else I've ever known. <laughs> Joining him today is his son and his daughter-in-law and his beautiful wife, Lori, who he's been blessed to have been married to for 39 years. He is always quick to point out that Lori is his biggest supporter, his fan, and his best friend. He is truly one of the most genuine, nicest, and funniest guys you will ever meet. Lastly, he's honestly the kind of person that's always giving other people's credit and taking the blame when it's not even his. So I think it's time right now that he gets the credit. It gives me great honor to present the 2021 Manufacturer's Rep Distinguished Service Award to Pat Cassidy, husband, father, friend, and director of sales for the Tulco Corporation. Said everything. Now I don't have saying. Yeah, you still get to say something. Here, we're gonna take a picture. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank the uh, manufacturers rep com uh, committee for voting for me. Very humbled for this award. I know people in the industry is um, who have won it. Who I guess I didn't think I was in that ballpark, but I guess I am. Um. As some of you other guys know, I'm very emotional, so I apologize now. <laughs> so, um, 
as I said, and I also want to make a special Niren Hinton of Hinton Sales for actually, from what I understand, nominated me. Thanks, Niren. Um, I want to thank the ISSA. Not that they give this award, but kind of what was echoed before, that you pulled off this show um, with your true diligence. Uh, I know we talked about it. People were worried up to a month ago. Are we going to have this or aren't we going to have it? Well, you did it, and I agree. Um, it turned out to be much better than what we thought. So congratulations to you guys. Um, I'd like to recognize my total team, led by Will Lewis. Um, and two other people, um, the late William Spangler and the late Chris File, that gave me the opportunity 29 years ago. Then again, last but not least, my wife, Lori. As you guys know, the e reps, um, you're a road warrior, you're gone a lot. And she uh, raised my kids. Great job. Um, as I said, my son Mickey's here. And what we're going to do after this is we're going to go on the show floor. And he's actually going to see what I've done for the last 30 years <laughs> on that part of it. So I'll leave with this. Great job for having the show. And we'll see you in Chicago next year. Now my pleasure to announce another outstanding member of our association. Our rep firm has represented Golden Star for over 53 years. A finer company and people you will not find. Your ISSA president, Steve Lewis. At this time, I would like to uh, make history. I'm going to call the meeting to order for the first and last time that I do it in this tenure. So I'd like to call the meeting officially to order. And with that, I would like to call John Barrett to the stand. By the way, how about Pat Cassidy? Wow. Thanks. <laughs> it is my pleasure to uh, give this award to Steve Lewis. And uh, it's the proud uh, lifetime achievement with grateful thanks for the many services rendered as president. And this golden card will provide admission to our, to our trade show to Steve for the rest of his life, whether he wants it or not. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, a good thing or not. <laughs> does it mean I uh, have to work for the forever? Yes. Oh, yes, well. All right. At this time, I would like to uh, uh, acknowledge our outgoing board members that have completed their year of service. And uh, as I call your name, I'd like for you to come forward to receive a token of appreciation from ISSA. At this time, I would like to uh, call John Beers with Wind and Associates. Next, I would like to call Roman Camille with Scrub Incorporated. Next, I would like to call Andy Clement with Kimberly Clark Professional. Next, I would like to call Nick Morris 
with Western Paper Distributors Incorporated. You know, uh, with the with the everything getting opening back up and everything, uh, so I was recently invited to a meeting in St. Louis, which is about four hours from Kansas City. And uh, so I thought, with the hassles of flying today, I'll just I'll just drive. Be easier. So I took off down the interstate, and I'm going along the way. And, Pretty soon my wife calls me and she says, honey, she says, there's a news flash. There's somebody driving the wrong way on the interstate. I immediately replied to her, what do you mean one? I see hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I would like to thank my wife, Pam, for always being there and supporting me in my efforts in, uh, to uh, regardless of which direction I'm going. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well done. Well done. Secondly, I would like to acknowledge a very special person in my life, Gary Gradinger, who's been my mentor throughout my entire business life. And without his support and coaching, I wouldn't be here today. So, Gary, I thank you for that opportunity. <laughs> you know, it's great to be here in person versus holding another virtual trade show. You know, in the past, I always thought, man, it would be great to have virtual meetings, you know, and uh, how much time, money, and more efficient we could be, you know, if we could just have those, you know. But don't get me wrong, that's been the biggest breakthrough probably in the last two years to the business community. When you think about all the the money it will save and the time and everything. However, in retrospect, Zoom meetings are a nice option, but nothing we want to limit ourselves to. Because when you think about it, how many meetings have we all been to where the real meeting didn't start until after the scheduled one ended? You know, I think Roland's a fine, he can attest to that. So, uh, you know, it's funny how things work out. As the old saying goes, be careful what you ask for, you just might get it. However, this past week is a positive sign that we're moving to a new normal. It's so refreshing to see colleagues uh, discuss new business opportunities and see new innovative products. I'm confident that everybody that came here this week will find something beneficial to take home with them. You know, although the circumstances during my tenure have been unique, to say the least, it makes me think of Dave Ramsey, financial guru, always said, you don't get off the roller coaster in the middle of the ride. That's so true. I have considered this a, both a privilege and an honor to have served as your ISSA president during this challenging time. I can only hope that other people share my passion and will volunteer in some capacity to create more positive changes. Signing your name on the dotted line to volunteer your time isn't and energy isn't always the easiest thing to do. That's why Elizabeth Andrew, an Australian politician, was on target when she stated, volunteers do not necessarily have the time, but they have the heart. However, I hope if you, if you strive to make a difference and put yourself out there, you will find it every bit as rewarding as I have. Lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to thank two special people, Kim Altoff and Gail O'Connor, uh, who put this event together. You know, they, they do all this meeting and everything and make it all work out for us and run seamlessly. 
Thank you very much. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce you to your new incoming ISSA president, Harry DuShelley with Ascendant Incorporated. Yeah. yeah. First off, let me let me thank Steve uh, for his service. Uh, you know, I didn't really know Steve that well uh, coming on to the board last year, and as he said, we were uh, virtual all year long. Uh, but let me tell you, his his thoughtful uh, insights into the industry and the association, uh, I always kind of just sat back and listened to him talk because he um, he has a way of just telling stories a little bit, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> For his wife, now that he's not the president anymore, I, I apologize. He's going to be with you a little bit more. Uh, I hope you can hold, handle that well, Steve. But uh, he has a great way of just kind of telling a story to get you to the point and uh, and get to a good decision. So, Steve, thanks for your service to the uh, to the association. It's been Thank terrific. <laughs> Okay, it's my honor to uh, introduce the returning board members. And for the board members, if you can stand up when I call your name and then remain standing uh, until we have everybody, I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's start with the returning board members. Uh, Andy Abel from Maylander. <laughs> Valerie Bird from ABM. <laughs> Brendan Cherry from Bobrick washroom equipment. Aileen Grego from Southeast Link. Amir Karim from Polycar. Steve Lewis from Golden Star. Mercer Stanfield from Bram Specialty Company. Matthew Romanski from SD Professional Hygiene North America. And then myself, Harry DeShelly. And then we, for our new board members, our incoming board members, Michael Schrapp from California Janitorial Supply Company. Jay Shear from JJ Shear Company. Leonard Schutzberg from Americo Manufacturing Company. Scott Stevenson from Cleanmark. And Matt Van Auken from the Van Auken Group. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your 2022 Board of Directors. Members, you can be seated. Thank you. <laughs> I never really got people to stand up and down as easily as that before in my life, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of thrilled. John, this is a pretty cool job, you know. They do what they're told, Eric. Yeah, they do actually. Well, not so much in the meetings, but we'll, we'll leave that for uh, inside information. Um, well, first, let me start off that, to tell you how excited I am about this opportunity uh, to be part of the uh, the association in the terms of a president uh, and working with this group of people up here. Um, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I was, I'm, I'm moved all the time when I come to this by the passion that people have for this industry. Um, and I think we could probably go on and on with speeches up here about people who care about each other, uh, who have given their life to this industry and have really moved things. And I think coming back together, I mean, virtual, you can, you can kind of get a little bit of that, but uh, I don't know about you, but the passion about being in person here uh, and watching these speeches and, and what goes on, and uh, I think we should all be honored to be working in, a, in an industry that has that kind of passion, and I'm, I'm thoroughly excited to be able to lead uh, the association as we carry on forward 
here into the new norm, as Steve said. So thank you for the opportunity. Um, I will tell you that your uh, association is in phenomenal hands. I, I, you know, I think I, you guys get exposed to uh, John and his team, I think probably on and off. Um, but as board members, we get exposed all the time to John and his team. And I will tell you, it's a fantastic team. And so your association is in wonderful hands here going forward. And sh you should not have any concerns about the direction or how it's been handled. Uh, or where they're taking it and um, I'm really pleased that we have that opportunity because that's not every association in the world has that kind of talented team so it's a pleasure to work with John and his team uh, and I look forward to doing that in the years to come uh, we have as John said now he laid it out a little more articulately than I will but we have some great initiatives that uh, uh, I'm excited about you know working with John and the team and the rest of the directors as we carry out here. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, I think the charities that Mark talked about, uh, it's pretty phenomenal what has transpired on that organization over the last couple of years. And Mark made all the comments around it. And I'll tell you, when you sit in that board meeting and, and look at where it's come from to where it is today, it's really remarkable. And I think the Hygieia event the other night, when I think about it, um, I don't know, four years ago or so when we had uh, one of the events uh, for Hygieia, and I looked at the other night, uh, it was phenomenal. The room was packed. Uh, people were passionate about it, talking about it. It was just really terrific. So um, Sandy and, and Kim and team have really done a, a great job there. So congratulations to you guys. Um, you know, the government adv advocacy work that uh, uh, John mentioned and, and this board uh, helped approve the, the money for uh, is doing phenomenal work in Washington and you should be really excited about it. that is not easy stuff um, having been participated in that in the past in my career it's really hard to move the needle in Washington and I would say today it's probably even harder than it's ever been to move the needle in Washington and John and his team they're moving the needle I, I mean we're on the agenda for people and getting time and airspace that'll really help us as an industry going forward. So really just great kudos down to you and your team for that. Um, and then I, you know, I would say GBAC is just a, a rock star and, uh, um, and I think it's, it's got some real uh, upside to it that we're doing some work on right now to think about you know, what the future could be for GBAC because I think it impacts all of us in the industry on the work they do and it kind of cascades down to all of us uh, to keep the world safe and clean. So I'm really excited about the opportunities there. Um, and then finally, you know, this media campaign uh, that John talked about, um, uh, we've got to get people back to cleaning. Uh, you know, um, Roman, who's on our board, he, he does some work with United Airlines. Um, uh, we're a, an American Airlines partner. And I got to tell you, the standards of cleaning, you can see them already starting to wane a little bit, and we can't let that happen because uh, that affects our industry in a negative way and frankly it, it affects people and uh, we want to keep people uh, safe and healthy uh, and so I think we've got to get something going here to get people's mindset back around uh, what the real true standards of clean should be and I'm excited about what that could lead for us as an association and I would tell you most associations they don't even attempt to do anything like that so you should be proud to be part of this group as we go forward here. And to, to finalize up, you know, my commitment is uh, I'm just an advisor, uh, you know, as all the other board members are. Um, and, and we're just here to try to help John and his team and guide the association as we try to move forward here. Uh, but I will give you my commitment is I will always ask the question, is this in the best interest of our members? And I can tell you when I asked John that question or any one of the directors, they're all in the same camp with that is what we do is for the best interest of our members. So you have our commitment that we'll continue to do that. So thank you for the opportunity and I look forward to working with all you guys. The trade show floor is still open, so you can get back out there and get to work, right? Okay, thanks to everybody. Great, great, great.